I'm sure you all agree, Gav and Juliet are two of the most genuine, kindest, generous, warm-hearted people you could ever wish to meet. They are the best friends one could possibly have. I consider them as my family, and as far as I'm concerned, that will be the case forever and ever. So whether you like it, guys, you've got me. <coughs> I have the greatest respect for them both, because as true loving couples should be, they've been there for each other in every way. I watched their love grow, their understanding of each other's needs, their selflessness, their willingness to make the other one happy. These are only a few things I witnessed on their journey, and thankfully we've ended up this monumental stair. Which I have to say, it's about bloody time really, isn't it? <laughs> <clears throat> so let's uh, move on swiftly on to the whole point we're all here today. And that is to witness the marriage of these two beautiful people. Just let me get changed first, so thanks. <laughs> oh, yes! Come on! Oh, come on, John! Father McTominay. Come on! Can't do it, button. Can I just um, say that I'm also available for <laughs> christenings, confessions, funerals, and bar mitzvahs. I know bar mitzvahs are a bit like, but I just thought it's no skin off my nose. <laughs> okay, so let's get on to marriage. <laughs> okay, you ready? Do you, Gavin Robert Chittenden Munro, take Juliet Huang Yi Tao to be your lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death us do part? Did you, Juliet Huang Yi Tao, take Gavin Robert Chittenden Monroe to be your lawful wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better for worse for richer for poorer in sickness and in health to love and to cherish till death us do part I do It is with the greatest pleasure I now pronounce you husband and wife Congratulations <laughs> Congratulations, you make it to the bride. Go <laughs> Wow. Yay! Yay! Come on! <laughs> <laughs>